to Pataka. Glad to be here. I'm Mario. I'm Duo Scythe. We are getting ready to start melee doubles. I think there's only there's about 17 teams, but uh, huge, huge, huge killers in this one. Yeah, just getting, and especially getting out of singles, not every day where you start a doubles bracket after getting your hands warmed I know, up right I know. out of singles. I know, a lot of, uh, a lot of top players were talking about how excited they were. Um, but yeah, it's been, it's been a good event so far. It's been a good event. Huge shout outs to Pataka, the actual event itself. Uh, the deer, everyone that's kind of in the back end, you, you yourself have been running around like a mad lad, running around like a mad lad. Trying to get everything uh, holding together here. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Uh, but yeah, it's been it's been nice. They have you know the, the food here has been great. The yep. uh, like staff here has been super nice. They've been really helpful doing everything. We have our uh, lovely exhibitors here along with our our cultural gala coming over, yeah. selling over uh, selling Diwali related paraphernalia. Exactly. Have yeah. you? It's been it's been great. It's been great. As well as the other people that you know keep the lights on, keep this thing going. You know, yeah. huge shout outs to Ga Gallon Gaming, of course. The ones behind this. If you guys saw Egg Dog, it's been they've been killing it as far as event production um, and you know they host events all over you know BOBC this dog. yeah it's been nice it's been nice it's been nice if you want to if you want to support uh, Glint make sure to hit uh, exclamation mark merch if you're in the chat there to see what the merch we got here for Pataka it's been and, it's yeah. really nice yeah it's and really also make nice. sure to uh, check out Glint on uh, uh, Glint Gaming on YouTube Twitter whatever social media you have it's probably Glint's probably on it and of keep course. up with whatever events we got planned. Yeah. As well as um, Novus Entertainment, you know, the, the ones providing us with the stream itself, getting us, you know, the actual uh, internet to be able to run something like this. And, oh, looks like they're about to get started. <laughs> yep, yep. Uh, looks like a first. Uh, Jonte Mello and yeah. Hotwire and... Let me look real quick. Let me look real quick. Uh, Fat Shiny. Fat Shiny, Hotwire, Jonte Mello. Oh, also... The arcade games here have been oh, yeah, amazing. Yeah, yeah. Zenith Arcade, huge shout outs to them. They did they've done a bunch of stuff. There's yeah. running events all you weekend. Can see it. You can see some of the yeah, some yeah, of their yeah, stuff yeah, yeah. right here. Yeah. Got yeah. a bunch of rhythm games. They've been playing out all in the background. It's, getting it's been, some nice percussion to yeah, these events. I was gonna say it's really funny. Some guy was sort of like dash dancing to the to the time and they were doing yeah, the rhythm yeah, yeah, game. Yeah. It was so funny. <laughs> it was so funny. But yeah, um you know, we're just Get, waiting for our players to get up. Oh, looks like Benji's running doubles. Huge shout outs to Benji. He runs a lot of the um, Five Irons, the Seattle events, other stuff. Um, him and RJ are the main ones behind, you know, really taking the scene in Seattle. But yeah, yeah. Looks like we're about to get started. Uh, I think they're just doing, yeah, they're doing tags right now. Oh, okay. 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 Also, huge shout outs to like UBC Esports, SFU Esports, BC Esports Association, Esports Canada. Uh, Anamari or on Ani Birai, uh, and you know all of them have been instrumental in setting up this, and I'm sure they'll, I'm sure they'll continue to, uh, you know, contribute to events like this. Sorry, we're still kind oh. of getting situated as far as doubles going. Yep, we got a green light. Looks like we're about to start the match. Yeah, looks like they're good. Fox, 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 and Fox. Puff. Yeah, God, yeah, yeah. that poor Puff in the middle is gonna get decimated. Yeah. All right, here we go. So I was actually playing doubles yesterday with Jonte, and oh, they had, I like the tags. I like the tags. Both of them are uh, Washington PR members, uh, both Melo and Jonte, and both of them are very aggressive, actually. And it, I'm re really interested to see how well they're gonna play. Yeah, right now though, it looks like Jonte and Melo controlling the center right now, playing like a tennis match, just yeah. knocking them off, keeping them yeah, separated, they're spacing them real hard, playing like Icy's players yeah. right now. I was talking with a. Um, with Jonte about it, uh, for whenever you have to play a puff in doubles, the kind of object of it is to keep the puff as far away from their teammate as possible and kind of isolate them. Oh, good red. Oh, uh, kind of worth it. They can get the. Oh, yeah. The shiny just taking the stock for it for the team. Yeah. All right. It looks like John or uh, Fat Shiny and Hotwire managed to push back a bit, get some ground here. It doesn't matter, as it seems that green team Jonte and Melo getting us some advantage here. Yeah, see, this is what I meant. You know, they're kind of isolating each other. But oh, oh no! Yeah, yeah. Big mistake by Melo. Kind of just forcing the puff away and then trying to go in on the fox. Yeah. Yeah, Fat Shiny definitely trying to play a game of keep away here. They're the weakest link in this team right now. Yeah, yeah going in right for the up smash, easy kill. Yeah, it's really hard as Puff, you know, try, trying to stay engaged because you are either trying to, you know, prevent the other play, uh, prevent the players from reaching your teammate, or trying to help out your team, but you don't have that much, you know, time. You're really slow. 
and you're kind of best in the air, and whereas the rest of them are more than willing to play grounded. Yeah, you're, you're constantly playing keep up against a game of foxes like this. Yes. Oh, oh, unfortunate Hot SD. Hotwire not being able to keep up, falling right off stage, not even taking the hit for it. Yeah. Oh! Oh, no! A little bit of a break for Blue Team here. Oh, is that going to be the edgeguard break they need? No, no not quite. Oh, he, oh, I'm surprised. I thought I thought Jonte would have gone for well, the high angle rather than going right back to ledge. Yeah, but there was additional pressure from his teammate that let him get right back to ledge. Yeah. It kind of looks like both teams are kind of getting through their growing pains, just trying to figure out, like, oh, oh as there's the juggling, that. and he misses the up air, Doesn't but matter. gets the nair, there, yeah. and that's it. And oh! Can't find the edge. Oh, and an unfortunate SD. Yeah, a bit of order in the chaos right now, but as the dust settles, it seems that Jonte and Mello have, are having a slight advantage right now, especially with the momentum one stock above the rest. And, you know, Puff at high percent, like one up air away yeah. from death. Oh, the straight back air. That's going to knock Jonte off, but he gets right back on, yeah. joining his teammate. Oh, oh. oh, that was a really good idea. That up tilt, especially if you're in center, you're kind of just pushing him no matter which way it goes, he's going to find an aerial. Yeah. Unfortunately, that stock taken away from Jonte means Jonte gets a free stock to take away from that buff, just running in with that invincible no, oh! oh, that rest He's no! going to live. He's going to live. He's going to live. That's Too great. far from the stage. Yeah. Is he going to get the edge guard? One more back here should do it. Oh, does it? Crouch cancel, no yeah, up smash. Yeah. Just a little bit late. Oh, weird kind of interaction. Weird timing, yeah. yeah. I don't think he was expecting him to snap the ledge. Oh, that might be the kill, yep. <laughs> they started at each other. Shine. All right, now it's two foxes against a fox. Oh, is he gonna? Oh, oh my god. He's juggling both, both Jonte and Mello. Yeah, that's crazy. Hotwire. Oh. Oh wait, he's still alive? No, he's no, not he's gonna, gonna make yeah, it. I was gonna say, <laughs> oh, oh no! <laughs> yeah, Jonte and Melo kind of acknowledging how silly that ending was. Yeah. Yeah, Hotwire is just like, uh, uh, it was really hard, especially because uh, Jonte and Melo or Jonte and Melo having the same color, it was really hard for them to tell the difference yeah. between each other. Yeah. Well, especially you know, whenever you're all off stage and you kind of just focus on getting back, you don't necessarily uh, get, get like. Throw out a spot dodge here, throw out a back air here, just hope that one thing, something lands. No. Oh, they might... I can't tell if... Is he actually going to switch to Ness, or is he just hovering? I think he's just hovering, because... Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. They're not that disrespectful. <laughs> yeah, Dreamland. Fair pick, fair pick. Yeah, get a little bit more space, gives them a, the puff a little bit more breathing room as yeah, well. Yeah, can play, play more keep away without having it caught in the middle. Good, up air. Up throw. Oh, no rest. Oh, no up air even. Yeah. I think he was scared that Mello would run in. Yeah. I don't good. think Mello even noticed, though. That was a really good idea there. Are Jonte and Mello communicating? I don't see that much in doubles. It's weird. I, I know that uh, they're both kind of the same play style, so maybe they're just kind of aligned in their ideas. Yeah. Oh, John getting a reversal. No kill. This is Dreamland. He's got a... Oh, there he goes. He's just like a back air. Kind of cleans up the stock a little bit. See, there, I think they should kind of just leave Fat Shiny alone, whatever that's a 2v1 situation, and just solely focus on repositioning themselves. Yeah, they can easily just double team Hotwire without a chance, and yeah. Fat Shiny can only just play keep up. Yeah. Oh. Oh, no. Okay, okay. coming oh, it back oh. on, but taking the up air right in the middle of the chaos. That's a stock away from Fat Shiny. Not looking good right He's now for the Blue yep. Alliance. Mm -hmm. Is this Team VC versus Team Washington right now? Yeah, it is. <laughs> oh, not going for the up air. Yeah. He was not a safe. A little bit of a flub there, honestly. Yeah. See, this is what yeah. I was talking about. As soon as they push away the, the puff, it just gives both of them like, yeah. so much. Even even if he doesn't... Actually, it's worse that he doesn't kill on Dreamland because yeah. he's taking so much time to fall back down. Exactly. Oh, missing the ledge. I think he fast fell accidentally right past it. it yeah. All right, Blue Alliance doing their best to recover, but Fat Shiny, even though with the high, somehow surviving faster uh, than Hotwire right now. Hotwire just taking all the damage. Not much of a tank right now. It's oh, oh side me. Yeah. I think he's trying to go for the shine back air and just kind of misinput it, or probably honestly he might have taken a, a hit and then uh, yeah, and, and hit the side B. 
Good kill. Yeah, Rob smash. All right, last stock for both of these players. This, is, this might be a seven stock. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, Jonte and Melo really finding their footing here. Oh, and the side smash. Back. That's not gonna. Oh, that did take. And oh, oh, I thought he was gonna go for the upper there. Yeah, they have so. Many. Honestly, they can kind of do whatever they want here. Hurt up six stocks to two. Oh, gets the kill. There we go. Signs of life. Signs of life. Yeah, but Puff is basically down to move. Any down B at this percent, that's a death sentence right now if they're caught by the teammate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now their teammate. Yeah, yeah, Fat Shiny can't approach that. Yeah. His teammate's stuck in between two foxes. What can he do? Oh, the double back air. How are they going to end it? All right, it's it's free food for yeah. them right now. You have to grab up smash, 97%. Oh, it's best uh, of five. Yeah. And for the long if I'm complete. if I'm hot shana or uh, hot shiny, if I'm fat shiny and hot wire here, I would definitely think about going like somewhere like. Honestly, I would go. I would go to Yoshi's. I, I was gonna say I don't want to go back to Dreamland. I feel like it really showed like how bad that stage can be. Yeah, they're going to Yoshi's. Yep. Yep. They need that size for the fat shiny to play at any pace. That's mm -hmm. that fox going. Oh, starting with an SD and the poor puff left alone. Oh, that was near death for them. Yeah, I know. Are they. And, like, Fat Shiny's already at kill percent is the thing. Yeah. So it, But it seems to be working out where he's just staying back, just adding into the blender right now mm -hmm. without <laughs> having to do much movement or committal. Melo just throwing out the up smashes over and over again. Yeah, they're playing a, they're playing a free for all match right now, just yeah. trying to get something to get a win. Yeah. Oh, oh no, the roll in, no rest, and he takes, takes the, the hit, hit for yeah. it. <laughs> Walking up, no side so smash. Finish, yeah. <laughs> kind of that shiny. Oh, sorry. No, no, no. It's just it seems like they're trying to like throw every like haymakers just left and right, and but they're hitting each other rather. Yeah. Than... This is the stage to do it. I mean, you yeah. can hit so many people at once right now, but. Jonte and Mel are really good at just pairing up and going back and forth like, again, a yeah. pair of ice climbers. Yeah. They're really synced right now. I, like I said, they both you know they both play similar styles and singles, and it, it's kind of translating here as well, because they're both looking for the same openings, they're looking for the same follow-ups. Yep, yep. Uh, he should live this, honestly. Yeah. Oh! oh! Getting the... S oh, oh he, the, that could have been a huge turnaround. Yeah. That may be the luck that, this, that the Blue Alliance is needed to get a lead here. Hotwire trying to get back in. Not a chance, though. Yeah. Oh. oh. Getting back on, but taking oh, the hit from Jonte. Yeah. Yep, the back air. That's going to do it. Yep. And, and the double taunt. taunt. <laughs> they got this in the back. Look at, look at Jonte and just smiling. <laughs> he fully knew what he was doing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the shine with the back. TI. No, oh. not a chance. They're See, not taking these edge guard opportunities, going yeah. after the wrong <laughs> climber here, basically. Interesting. Why I, is is he? Why is he whiff shining? I, I can't. I, <laughs> and he's, they're just juggling. The puff can't approach, and yeah, there we go. Honestly, I really want to see them just go for the lasers. No punish there. Yeah. Oh, Ooh, nice juggle between uh, John and Mello. Knocking him right <laughs> off there, and then he takes. It doesn't matter. It's over. Oh yeah, already at thirty. He's got to get the kill here if they ever want to have a chance. Ah. Oh. Can't find it. Shine. Oh, great. Mellow coming back on. Oh, John getting grabbed, missing the up smash. No, that oh, was it. That was it. it. <laughs> and he's just looking him down in the eyes. It's over. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look at them. Oh, this. having a good time. Having a good time. Yep, yep. Good stuff from John and Mellow there. Oh, and a little pop off from Dane. Let's go. Let's go. Honestly, I, I think that game was better. Than the second one, at least. Yeah, and it like shows that they, you know that they're just because there's room for improvement doesn't mean that you didn't. You, there's not good takeaways. Yeah, and from they that. they knew exactly what they were goofing up on and what their weaknesses were. I'm gonna guess that Fat Shiny just didn't have anything in his back pocket to take out because Puff was clearly not working. Like Puff can work in doubles, but it needs to be the right one. And in an all Fox match, yeah, yeah, you're you're. I, 
I honestly felt like the pace of the game was just a little bit too fast for Fat Shiny there. Yeah. And like Hotwire was trying to like pick up the slack a little bit, but was almost over committing more and more, which just kept pushing them further and further back. Yeah, but the, but the switch to uh, to Yoshi's definitely worked out a smaller stage, 100%. easier to catch up on. 100%. Wondering if an FD pick would have been better for them in the first in the first two matches. Yeah, I, I don't know. It's hard because then it's just like you can shark puff forever if this is the moment yeah. they get in the air. It's 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 hard. It, it's it's such a weird team format. All right, while we're waiting for our next next match here, uh, again, huge shout out to Glen Gaming, but also uh, to our other minor organizations helping to, here to help work with us, including. UBC uh, Esports Association, SFU Esports Association, that's my school, uh, the BC Esports Association, Esports Canada, uh, Gaming uh, Gamers Guild, excuse me, and Enemy Roll, thank you all so much for helping us. Also, a huge shout out to Novus, Novus. for giving us this prist uh, pristine stream internet. We're able to actually, you know, keep you guys going all day today and tomorrow. And it looks like we're just... Oh, I think they're waiting for the... Yeah, they're waiting for the um, bottom seed to play. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, it looks like... Yeah, it looks it's, like they're gearing up to it. I honestly feel so bad for Benji. He's having to deal with six yeah. people around him constantly. I mean, everyone's already pretty scattered around because of uh, singles ending. Yeah, yeah. Do you know if uh, the like Polo, Fiction, and Moth ended up staying for doubles? Uh, I'm pretty sure because I know that they were they I, were talking about they were talking about heading out, but I don't think they left. I think they were just talking oh, about. Oh, as them. I say that, Deer and oh, yep, yeah, yep. This is yeah. a clear one seed. Oh, Deer looking pristine. With Deer was Deer was yeah. Deer's been walking around like that in his huge getup. He was he was making threats to Gabo earlier. Gabo uh, had to take his cable, and he's like, "You better not lose that. My career is in your hands, <laughs> sir. Do not lose that cable." Honestly, huge shout outs to Deer for helping put all of this together. You know. Him being a huge part of Gallant Gaming, as he's well as a, the, he's an Atlas. Yeah, he's yeah. an Atlas today. Yeah. yeah, he's holding up the entire event right now. Yeah, and has been you know the face of this of this event. You know, really been pushing. You know, getting top players out here. Get. Oh, I thought Jonte and Melo were playing. I was like, that's a little early for that. But no, unless, unless we're already yeah, losers. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, no, like, been really doing a good job at promoting you know Gallant, BC events. You know, back whenever uh, I think it was Janari, he was more than willing to help out with a lot of the Beham crew, making sure that they, you know, we had problems getting over here, and he was like, I'll do whatever you guys need to. Yep. We'll make sure that you guys can play. And yep. he's always been a huge help to us. Yeah, I I reached out to him randomly once, like, hey, dear, Rival? He's like, sure, come host it at Pataka. Yeah. I'm like, whoa, that was fast. He's, he's, a, he's a muscle mover. Yeah. Oh, and he's, you know, marketing the event as we speak, <laughs> yeah, as we speak. <laughs> I'm sure that's gonna go on the Twitter. I'm sure that's gonna go on the Twitter. Yup, yup, yup. <laughs> Finally gets to play at his own event. He's been waiting for this all day. He's he's actually been excited for for playing in doubles. He, did you see that he was originally signed up for singles? Uh, uh then, yeah, I think he had to. It, well, he had a DQC yeah, yeah, running yeah. the event and whatnot. But looks like they're up against JJJ and Wonk, and they just got the green light. So it looks like we're right. gonna get into things here in just a second after they figure things out. And you know. Fiction go, opting to go Fox with Puff. I, I think this is going to be like a really good. Like, it's, it's, it's much easier because not everyone's going Fox, so you're not having to play at a suddenly different speed. You got Falco and Marth playing at two different speed intervals here. Yeah. Let's see how it works out here. Starting off game one on Battlefield. Yep. Yeah. And Starting I, off. Oh, sorry. I, I think like we're also going to see a Fiction play a little bit better of like the adaptation game, whereas like having, if he needs to pick up the slack. Oh, what was that? That was a dare and from Fox, and then Deer grabbing it, throwing him right into um, that. Yeah. Already showing like what what this team can do. Oh no! <laughs> I think JJ hit Wong. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, he early killed. Yeah, Deer Fiction. Smiling. Yeah, Fiction getting knocked out of uh, JJ's. Four throw and then JJ just smacking him right out of there with the tipper. Oh, oh grab look, rest! Waiting <laughs> on that. Honestly, I think if Fiction just continued to go in for the Falcon, he, uh, Deer still would have gotten punished. Yeah. Oh, oh he misses his grab <laughs> and he takes the forward smash from it. Barely, barely dying from that. Deer already down two stocks. Uh, just getting caught in the blender, no fault of his own. Kind of showing now that he's like, all right, I'll turn the jets, I'll turn the jets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, but he definitely having a lot stronger game sense than uh, than Fat Shiny right now. Oh, that was a weird counter. Oh, that yeah. Yeah. Yeah, look at Deary staying right yeah, outside that exclusion be, zone. Yeah. He knows how to get in there. He's also playing it like, ooh. ooh double oh, tipper, I, okay. but no kill from Deer. Deer, yep, made it back. Yep. With a little help from his teammate. Oh, oh Wonk getting knocked out with a weird angle. And Deary oh. in the back air? He went, no. the, he went for the rest there. That, that was yeah. crazy. Uh, <laughs> JJ trying to play defensive, and yeah. Deer's like, no, nah, I'm not going after, I'm not I'm done with you. I'm going after Wonk. Get the kill for it. And you're just running out there saying, I, this is my edge guard. This is my event. <laughs> oh, Fiction, he's going, he's going for the Marth Keller. Yep. Gets it. Yep, yep, that's... Oh, that's Wonk all on his own. Oh, is that going to be... Oh, oh the, the, grab release, release. the grab release rest. And that's going to take it with the bounce. He gets the grab release, bounces off the ground, and Deer still, still snipes him out yeah. of the air. <laughs> good stuff, good stuff. Honestly, the, at the beginning, that didn't look that bad for Red Team. It felt like they were like kind of had a game plan going into it, and then as things started to get more and more rolling. Yeah, but Deer and Fiction have been—they're clearly been labbing this for yeah. a while. You know, you saw it almost immediately. You know, try to go for these weird grab setups and the, followed by the rest setups and everything. What are they talking about? Right, Deer and Fiction are having a, a strategy meeting right now. What is going on? I think they're trying to figure out. Yeah, that's oh. what I, this is not going to be a clean oh. map. <laughs> They're still talking to each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is this is just this is just free play for them. Yeah. Fiction. Oh, oh no! Missing the rest by like an inch. <laughs> I missing it again, dear. My God, he's laughing. That, uh, walking the back throw. Oh, they're both knocked off. The double back. This is oh, oh this is perfect edge guarding opportunity for Deer. He gets them both with the forward air, and they're out. Really showing their knowledge in this matchup where they're like, yeah, we know exactly where you're going to be after each move. Oh, oh! <laughs> double teaming, going after JJ. And it's like, no, 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 no. I'm going to go after rest one. I'll be right back. Heck, yeah. Oh, I thought Deer was going to go for another rest there. I think that's one of Puff's strongest uh, traits in doubles, just being able to let the rest rip as many times as possible. Yeah. Especially if your teammate's on the aware to get that quick jab in yeah. to wake you up, you're good. Or even like, oh, there we as we, as we say that, as we say that. What are they talking about? I want I think they're trying to find new rest setups. Yeah, mid -set. yeah, yeah. This is just a labbing session for them now. Jab. Oh, I thought he was oh, going yeah, 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 yeah. I think he was trying to go for it, but the yeah. stage, uh, the platform was too high. Yeah, JJ <laughs> desperately trying to get out of there at that uh, counter. Not a chance. We need to get a deer rest counter just for this event. <laughs> I, can't oh, wait he, for I think he, I think he tried to go for a full hop. Yeah, there it is. He almost got the double there. Yep, and that's it. This is, he's just waiting for it to come down. <laughs> what what can he do? It's one grab and he's dead. What can he do against this? <laughs> he just let it rip. Look at that smile. Deer's just having a good time. Yep, there it is. <laughs> and JJ and Walker are like uh, they're they're hope they're helpless and then laughing their asses off. If I'm fixing a deer right now, I feel. Great. I'm just trying to find new rest setups at this point. Yeah. Especially, it's like, this is probably the only round where they're going to go easy. What's their next? Uh, uh, Equi and Vito or Dobie and Tech, uh, Techno Spider? Oosh. Both, you know, if they, if they have to play Techno Spider, I think Samus is one of the weirdest characters. Yeah, in especially doubles. in doubles. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, starting off. Is, that was almost that was almost a Super Smash Gone kill, getting the, the kill right off stage with Marth. Deer, I think ex is exclusively going for rest. I'm convinced. Yeah. I'm convinced. Why? Why? Sh why shouldn't he? Fictions aren't got very good advantage here. He can just go for rest and not be punished for it, especially at low percents on Dreamland. Yeah. This combo against this Falco has been going for the last five seconds. That's insane. Insane. And Deer ends it with the forward air. While Fiction also is killing the Mark. They, these guys know what they're doing. <laughs> yeah. It's two singles uh, matches right now. Oh, and the counter hit. You're going for the forward smash, knocking JJ or uh, Wonk right off, and Wonk down airing right to the blast zone. Not nary a stock lost on the Green Alliance here. Using the F throw to, to wake him up, yeah. yeah. Oh, he went for a re. That's a crazy re. <laughs> oh, Fiction getting shine, saving his partner. Side smash, and yep. that's gonna kill even from the far blast. 
Ben's just fishing for counters yeah. here at this point. Spot dodge grab. Oh, gets the re-grab, though. This could be an 8-stock. And De oh, Deer what? hits his opponent. <laughs> this could be an edge guard situation. He's still Is alive. he still alive? He knows it. He knows the timing. He know oh, oh, he gets back oh. on. No! <laughs> all right, all right. A respectable 6-stock. Yeah, A respectable yeah, yeah. 6-stock. Using the invisibility. JBA, JBA. <laughs> Oh, he his teammate. Oh, I thought he was gonna go for the, another one. Yeah, Fiction trying to go for that grab rest, but Deer not being able to come in on time, but still gets the ledge hog. Oh, the counter. Uh, it's that poor, it's that poor Marth versus <laughs> versus Dick Fiction and Deer. JJJ showing his stuff a little Fair. bit. Fair, not oh, a chance. <laughs> yeah, shine. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. over. Yeah. It's over. GG's, GG's. Good stuff from Fiction and Dealer. Really showing that they are not only have the chemistry, but are no the weirdest of setups for us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Fiction, I, I mean, even on their own, they're still they're still holding up. Like uh, Fiction was getting some wacky uh, down air grab combos where he's down airing them off stage, grabbing them while they're in the air, yeah. and then throwing them around. Also, like Deer being more than willing just to like go out off stage and being like, yeah, I could just throw out fairs and hope that one of these hits. There's two of them. It'll yeah. be fine. And he's, he got really good with those weak fares off stage yeah, just yeah. to get him right in the blast good zone. Good stuff from our own event sponsor right here, dude. <laughs> TO, coordinator, top player, hounder, conqueror, yeah. Our beloved deer. Our beloved deer. Looks like we got, oh, Salami, and I, I do not know who's uh, He was on comms last shift. I'm trying to remember. He was with Farmer. I'm forgetting his name. Ah. I'm looking it up. I'm looking it yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Shooter McGavin. Shooter McGavin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shooter McGavin. But yeah, looks like they'll play Polo and. Do you know who ZQF is? No. Okay. Okay. Just making sure we're both on the same page. <laughs> if if he's BC, I've never um, seen him compete. Yeah. But yeah, uh, Salami coming from California. Huge. All the way. Wait, he's coming from Cali for yep. this? Yeah. Him, Fiction, and I think two other people. Pilgrim and I can't remember the fourth one, but yeah, they had a little, they had a little whole group come, which is huge. It's, that's them. quite the trip, yeah, uh, for a, for an event like this. I don't know. I feel like um, those flights from like NorCal to Vancouver aren't terrible. <sighs> it can be, it can be. I fly back and forth from there a lot. It can be if you plan it right, it can be fine. Yeah. If it's two to three months, it can get really hairy. I was gonna say, yeah, yeah. That's kind of what I'm dealing with right now, you know, trying to get to uh, Genesis. <laughs> yeah, these days I don't even fly back and forth from NorCal. I just take Amtrak because I'd rather, I'd rather deal with the train than I have love, to deal with. I honestly, I love the Amtrak. You, you have so much time. Plus, like, the train from Bellingham to Vancouver, from Bellingham local currently. Yeah. yeah. Uh, two hours, and it's gorgeous. Well, from California oh, I'm sure to it's Vancouver, like, it's 26 hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, a little bit longer haul. A little bit longer. Yeah, haul. but I would rather take that some days, honestly. Yeah. Yep. Oh, uh, Look. looks like we're just about to start here. I think they're just getting into the smaller stuff. Oh, I do recognize uh, ZQL. Hey. Waiting for some technical stuff. Yeah, yeah, I do recognize ZQL. Um, I don't, he has competed in BC events, I, uh, but it's always been in majors. Oh, okay. And they beat right and someone to get here. Drayden, I changed my tag, yeah. Okay. Oh, just getting right into it. And oh, right we're getting right into it. No technical issues, just one right. Marth and three Foxes. Double Fox. Is Polo going Fox? Fo uh, I think he might be Mar the Marth. Uh, wait, no, Brooke. It'll be fine. It'll. Okay, okay. All right, well, Blue Alliance right now has the lead. I think Blue is double Fox, and then, yeah, 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 okay, okay. Yeah, Blue, yeah, Blue is going for that, yeah, Shine Spike, that's it. Oh my god. Two, uh, <laughs> five to eight, or five to seven right now. It's crazy. Up throw, up air on the Marth. Let's wait for another one. Yeah, trying to go for another one, get the recap. <laughs> what? I think he was going for the runoff uh, up air there. Yeah, trying yeah, to hit yeah. The Marth. Oh, hitting, hitting his, his own, own opponent. Teammate, yeah. Or his own teammate, yeah. Yeah, forward smash. Uh, I think. Oh, missing the shine! Oh, but it gets the forward smash. 
almost running the needle, but not quite. Oh. Oh, he's gonna, he tried to go for the dare, and but it didn't matter, it didn't matter. Okay, it looks like blue team is shooting McGavin and Salami. Okay. Which would make sense, you know, double fogs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think, I think Bolo is playing Play the Marth. Uh, is he playing the Marth? I've, I've never seen him play Fox before. <laughs> Going for the cheesiest of edge guards there. I, I like was right. He is okay. playing. He's playing the Marth. That's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> Polo, yeah, of course, being the Falcon main. <laughs> Going to the most antithetical Falcon character yeah, exactly. possible. And on his last stock too, Red, Ali uh, Red Alliance right now. Oh. Oh. All right, this is, honestly this might be what Red Team needs here. Yeah, this is the momentum shift. Oh, oh getting it down. Oh, missing the shine. shine yeah. and, but getting a sound smash in the end. Oh, oh it's a QF. Okay, if he can get the kill here, if they can get the kill here. Okay, this, this it's an even. even match right now. This might be even. Oh, if he would have gotten that grab. It yeah, Polo playing really risky right now with that down air on stage. Yeah, and that's gonna cost him. Uh, He's gonna have to, you know, pretty, pretty it's, crazy it's comeback. Possible. It's possible. Uh, uh, up tilt. Just, if one of them grabs Legends, might be it. Yep. Yep. Oh no! They, get, they didn't get the re grab, and he gets, and he hits his teammate for it. I think this will be it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. A little bit of a, sc a scary situation there from Salami. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> and shoot him again. <laughs> Looks like the rhythm games are popping off. Okay, yeah, yeah. Once again, shout out to Zenith Arcade for helping out with these brackets for those. You're bringing in a truckload of arcade games. Yeah. You, should, you guys cannot see the amount of games back there it's right insane. now. It's insane. I guess I don't know if I agree with this pick of Marth. Yeah. No, no, of the of Yoshi's. Oh, Yoshi's. Yoshi's. Yeah. Because I feel like you're just as Marth and Fox. You want to have a little bit of space to like breathe. Yeah, and Marth, uh, you gotta get that spacing. Yeah. And like, yeah, both both the Foxes are dying a little earlier, but so are you. Yeah. And, it's, oh, it's, a, it's, a it's a 50 50 trade right now. Oh, they almost took their own stocks for it on that edge guard situation yeah. with uh, with Polo. <laughs> oh, is that gonna be a knockoff? <laughs> no, not quite. All four of them just being like, yeah, no, we can play off stage for a second. Polo, you don't counter like that off stage, you uh. risky bisky. <laughs> He's gonna go for the yep, easy shine there. Yeah, and that's Polo's stock gone as well, not having enough space to recover. What? Why is he walking around? I don't. What? What game is he playing? I don't think he. What does he see that we don't? <laughs> Honestly, it's working though. It's working. <laughs> what? He rolled right into that the other blue fox. I think it was Salami, and then getting the up throw for it. Crazy running up smash there. And oh, running. Oh, goes for another. Shoot oh, yeah, running just in. Out. Yeah, I don't think Polo's even used to like uh, jump cancel grabs yet. He's, he's trying to go for grabs, but he's not doing for stand up grabs. Yeah. <laughs> also, <still> hitting, his, <laughs> hitting his teammate <laughs> at the forward good. smash. He's not. He's playing like a. a Looking for Glory Marth right now. What is happening? I love it. I love it. It's working, but what the fuck? What the heck is happening? <laughs> is he just? I, I, I think... feel like all these, like the foxes are having their own like powwow, and then Polo's like, yeah, I'll just throw out a forward smash every now and then. I'm wondering, is this some sort of mind game? And then Shooter and Salami just are like, what? What do we do about this? I yeah. don't understand. All right, next up, they're picking Stadium. All right. Game three here. Shooter and Salami 2-0 right now. Yeah. This is, this is, I mean, this is game point for both, for uh, for ZQF and Polo. Honestly, and, <laughs> what, did he just, he forward smashed him. He forward smashed Such his teammate. teammate. Grabbed him. <laughs> and then the teammate did grab the fuck. <laughs> Oh, getting the tipper, but they're oh, hitting the wrong okay, button. It still works. <laughs> He's like, what are you doing? What, are we, what is happening right now? Yeah, Rob, smash. That's going to kill, taking away Polo's first stock here. ZQF and Polo are just ha here to have a good time. Yeah. <laughs> and Salami and Shooter McGavin are all business. 
Yeah, it's just like, just put him down, just put him down. Oh, oh, for throw, another one. <laughs> no, you know, you go for the down throw, or the down air, <laughs> or something, even a forward smash. Oh, as I say that, it's just playing like a level nine CPU. Swinging the sword. <laughs> up, up tilt. <laughs> what? Forward smash up flat. Polo, Polo, you're in Surrey. I hope you know that. You're playing melee and you're on Marth. <laughs> for him, he already made top eight. Yeah, 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 He's like, he's like, this is just for fun. Jab up smash. Yeah, that's yep. taking away his stock. Classic double up smash. Oof. Yeah, Blue five, team with a solid lead here, you know, a five to three. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Raw forward smash coming out of Polo. Is he gonna actually edge guard it <laughs> with another side smash? All he had to do was, you know, nair, grab ledge, back air, anything. Yo, no, 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 no just go for another non-tipper forward smash. You know, maybe, maybe he's doing this despite all the Mars he's played. He's like, I can do it better. I've, I've gone up against Polo. He, he really is sick of us. <laughs> Oh, get up, get up, attack, knocking him, giving okay. space here. Oh, can live this? Okay, oh my this god, Zidoof is fighting for his teammate here on the ledge. Crazy tech. Oh, is that gonna be both of their stocks? Oh, oh. what? Okay, there, there's a chance. There's a world. Okay, a world. it's even right there's now. There's a world. <laughs> no, there's. It's not a world. It's over. Unless ZQF can get a raw up smash to take out one of the blue foxes. He's really gotta he's gotta get really lucky oh. to make it a 1v1 situation. But oh. no with the short quick 3-0, honestly, it did not look that bad after Polo realized he was playing Mark. Yeah. <laughs> so they wake up, it's like, wait, 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 this isn't Falcon. Why do I have a cape on? <laughs> this forward smash actually does something. <laughs> <laughs> Good stuff from Salami and Shooter McGavin. I think they're playing against Jonte now. Yeah. That sounds right. That sounds right on paper. Yeah, and, and Polo and ZQF are just laughing their asses off. I would be too, honestly. I would be too. It's a, it's a good time. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, looks like... Yeah, Shooter... Oh, actually, Shooter McGavin and Salami are going to play Fishin' and Deer. Or Doby and Techno, if they can pull off the upset. Yeah. Which is happening to our right, currently. And Polo is still on stage, refusing to leave. Refusing to leave. <laughs> Wait, is that... Yeah, deer. Yeah, deer. Oh, they're down. Oh, they're deer. losing. They're... It's a Samus and a Falco. Who is that? Doby. Oh, Adobe yeah. Doby and Techno. Yeah, yeah. Doby, I want to say. Oh, oh. Sorry, we're, we're watching Much this. So this... So <laughs> yeah, the Samus got a sick back air kill. Yeah, and it's now. It's just deer. Yeah, it's just deer. Oh, with a, get four <laughs> stocks. Four stocks. Yeah, honestly, that would be a pretty big upset. That's They're the one seed. Yeah, Deer getting a Falco kill is, is I want to see the comeback. It's up, uh, yeah, it's no, okay, Puff at 156. Okay. You're not making it back for them, and you just lost. Looks like, I think that was game three. But yeah, and then on the other side of bracket, we have Melo and Jante versus the winner of Sylvie and Vince versus Amy and Febreze. Febreze. I think that'll probably be the next one on stage. Salami walking by. He knew what he did. He knew what he did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, okay, we're just waiting for a second. Waiting for a second. Oh, looks like the Vincent just ended. And I think that'll be our next one according to StarTG. Excellent, excellent. Huge shouts to Benji, running bracket. As yeah, he stands this, this yeah, man yeah, right yeah, here, yeah, he's yeah. getting up, <laughs> yeah, yeah. walking around. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. All right, while we're waiting for our match here, just a reminder that if you want to get some really nice Pataka merch, please, uh, if you're in the chat, type in uh, exclamation mark merch or go to the link there, shop.level1.tv slash shop slash Pataka. It's, it's got some, some great stuff in there. Some really good stuff, some really good stuff. Shmeez did some of the merch. Love Shmeez, huge shout out to him. Also right in the front end of stuff. Super sick guy, but yeah, no, it's all, it's all sick. It's all sick. Yep, yep. Also, thank you to Novus for once again providing us with super fast internet seeds, being able to provide you guys with this great doubles gameplay right now, as well as all the single stuff from earlier today. Yeah, and if you if you're living in the lower mainland of BC, please do check out uh, check out Novus. They're one of the best internet providers in this part of the in this part of town. Yeah, it's the, I remember they also did a a bunch of uh, of the smaller events for PC as well. Yep, yep. Also, uh, Bracket Buddy, it's great. Uh, if you guys haven't downloaded this yet, it's like the what we wish we could have from Star GG. 
But no, yeah, it's great. It's, it's, it's great. Galen's own uh, application as well. So if you, this also supports Galen, and if you support Galen, you're supporting Bracket Buddy, which helps us all. Bracket Buddy is fantastic. It is. You get quick views to your matches. You get to see where you're seated. You get to see it without having to go through the hassle of that silly back end on Star GG. Also, you can report your own scores. Yep. You can, uh, as a TO, it's super helpful for on the back end of stuff as well. Yep. Makes it super streamlined. I know they're gonna be using it at Dome Park as well. Yep. And they use it at a couple of the smaller events um, in BC yep. before any testing it here. Any in, yeah, we had it at um, uh, Puff and Play in yep. downtown That's right. Vancouver. Uh, That's right. Uh, we had it at TG. We tried at TGS for a bit. Uh, and it looks like. Are we? I think we're just waiting for a sick. I think we're just waiting for the other side. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. While we're waiting, also huge shout outs to Discover Surrey. You know, Surrey itself is where we're hosting this event. I'm staying here tonight. I'm super excited to check out some of the nightlife as well as some of the smaller stuff for tomorrow. There's a bunch of cool shops. You know, we walked across the street and there's like a, a small little like mini mall that has a bunch of cool restaurants and whatnot. I love. Yeah, it's been super nice to come up here. I always love coming to BC, but Surrey especially has been treated us pretty well. Yeah, pretty Surrey well. makes Surrey makes for a great. Uh, venues, especially in the downtime of the season. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And thank you to Sports Surrey for their generous support, recognizing that esports are truly a form of competition and sport, helping us push forward the Canadian esports ecosystem. They, you know, them alongside people like UBC Esports, SFU Esports, BC Esports Association, Esports Canada, Annie Murai, and Qual Quantlin? I don't know if Quantlin. I Quantlin Gamers Guild, all have been helping us out with this event, and they, we couldn't have done this without them. Yep. It took a lot of it took a lot of things to uh, took a lot of things to pull together to get this thing to work. Some of it didn't make it in the end, but we're here today. We're playing some doubles matches. We got the Washington Keem kill. We got oh, John Tate. No. Also, all of these players that are on your screen right now are either former or current Washington PR players. Yep. And Benji being their TO makes it all the better. Yep. Yep. Jonte, the current number, or sorry, current HM on the PR, Mello number seven, Vince, former number one, Sylvie, former number 10. All of them are great. All of them are like trade sets with each other constantly. They're all, they're all safe. Yep. And I'd also like to give a personal uh, appreciation shout out to Sylvie, AKA Max. He is the volunteer coordinator here at Pataka. I, uh, was work we've, I've been working under him all day. He's been absolutely a treat. He's fantastic. He's uh, definitely helped this entire show run much smoother. We've had a lot of uh, volunteer uh, issues, but he helped work it out. We we got a clean event so far. Also, if you're supporting Dome Park, you're also supporting Max, who is going to be the, one of the head TOs at Dome Park itself. Is doing a great job with that event, as well as doing the. Oh, looks like we're about to start. As well as doing the pre locals as well. So make sure to check those out. Yep. Getting right, right into it. Right, here we right go, ladies it. and gentlemen. Match number one. Okay, on paper, I think Peach and Sheik are like top three doubles teams. Yeah. You know, obviously, Armada Android, you know, the classic. But even, like, Max and uh, Vince have been, like, doing great stuff. They got 33rd at Genesis uh, last year, and they got 17 this year. They're insane. Yeah, and they're putting it to work here. They're just, they're handling these boxes. Great axe, or Max getting a knockoff. in this edge guard situation, but getting the shine, allowing John to get back on stage. Meanwhile, Vince, Knocking another fox right off the board yeah, here, yeah. taking off one stock per. They're yep. doing their part. And if I'm if I'm uh, Mello and Jonte right now, I want to be like, going for these isolated kills. Where yeah, you, you have to push this. You have to push it. <laughs> oh no! Getting some help from from Max. Yeah, Sylvie hitting uh, Vince right off the stage, unfortunately, but that's okay. They're still they still have a momentum lead right now. Vince is currently turning into a blender right now, using his nares and down smashes to keep these two foxes oh, away from him. Crazy angle there. Oh, what a tech, too. Uh, these he back air snipes by oh, Sylvie. The, this, that, that, that saved oh, no. him. Yeah, just go for the reach. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. yeah. Dane, just back off, back off. Yeah. Good stuff from Dane there. They got to see that. Okay. How are you going to end it? How are you going to end yeah, it? Yeah, John's trying to go for it. Oh, oh getting the needles and right into the clutches of Vince yeah. as he does the down smash, knock him off. Yeah, that smash That's is going to kill uh, Max, unfortunately. Yeah. Yep. Also, I'm pretty sure both Sylvie and Vince got ninth uh, in the bracket today. Yeah, they did. Alongside Bello, of course. Yep. 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 Back air coming out of Max, knocking him right, uh, knocking off uh, John. 
And there's Mello trying to get back on, but getting the double back air from the Sheik. Honestly, if I'm if I'm Jonte and Mello here, I want to like slow this game down and kind of space them out so they can get these isolated uh kind of 1v1s, whereas right now they're kind of just all going in the middle. Yeah, they're losing their coordination right now. They're hitting each other a lot. Yeah. And there's the needle kill. Oh, great oh, the save. Great save. Yeah, great save. And great recognition. I probably didn't want to go for the... Uh, what's it called? Probably didn't want to go for the uppy there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, up air. Okay. Not killing. Oh, oh but the okay, okay. They can, from they can kill the uh, will kill. Okay, this is back to even. All right, it's an even game. Go back, go back. Go back. Let's go to the sides. <laughs> kind of resetting it. Vince is just spamming oh, his down smashes. Oh, is that going to... Yeah, he was trying to, he was trying to get the downer reversal. to get back up. <laughs> oh, bringing it back from the brink, Jonte and Mello are now fighting for their life. Wait. This is a really dangerous Peach I, yeah. for some reason. Why are they so cautious? I think Peach is one of the best for 2v1s. Good back air, another one. Oh, went for the up there. I think narrow yeah, back air. Whatever. Up, up, up air, yep. yeah, that's going to kill. Oh, oh, let's go. A little pop-off. Yeah, a little pop-off pop and fist bump between each other. <laughs> Dane looking over, smiling. They knew what they did. They knew what they did. Yeah, yeah. Oh, looking at the... <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> Oh, game two. Okay, Yoshi's I story. I don't like this pick. Yeah, I... I understand that you want to just, like, create chaos, but it also creates chaos for your teammate. Yeah, especially with two foxes and no foxes of your own. There's yeah. going to be a lot of early kills, and I'm not sure... Especially with Sheik having such trouble killing with uh, doubles when you're not getting those fairs or edge guards. I don't know. Oh, good, great coordination there. Good. Hitting their teammate. Oh, see, this is what I was talking about. Where they isolate each other? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice down tilt to back air coming out of Sylvie. That's... All right, but uh, Max losing his stock, first stock, unfortunately. Vincent still in the lead, though. Grab back row. Oh, oh nice grab, yeah. perfect. That's exactly what they need with, uh, I think that was, yeah, I think that's mellow down two stocks. Yeah. Oh, okay, there we go. You need to back up. Honestly, Jonte not taking that much percent is huge here. Oh, oh, the, the down smash. <laughs> oh, and the wrong I think he goes the wrong way. I don't think he could recover. I think he'd just rather take the stock. Yeah. Oh, managed to get the Firefox burn there. Gotta go to ledge. Yeah, you gotta go. Oh, the taunt. <laughs> the taunt cancel on Randall. Oh, no, because you. Oh, no, he still gets the, yeah, the, the ledge shy guys. Yeah, the shy guys. Unfortunate for John. Yeah, nice shine on the shield, knocking off Max, but Max gets back on. Crazy. Okay. Oh, oh. Melo going back right for Vince. Oh, the, oh, messed up the timing a little bit there, but still might get the kill. Crazy. I think that's it for Max. Oh, oh, Max getting back on just barely. Back throw. But there's no teammate there to continue that back throw. Okay, they, Is that it? No. That's great stuff from the Foxes right now. If they can, yeah. Gotta go for the killer. Uh, there's the shine, yep, and yep. that's gonna take away Vince's stock. They gotta get the kill on Max now. Yeah. Ah, oh, unfortunate. Yikes, already having to take their first stock. Yeah. Oh! Yeah, that's it. They're on their last stocks here, and they yeah, can't. This, this is more par for the course of what I was expecting from Vince and, and Max here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Looks like the, uh, the chaos is working out for them a bit better this time around on Yoshi's. Max losing his third stock now, but that's okay. He's got two clean stocks ready to go. Good up throw. I See, I think that on the Battlefield game, Jonte and Melo were having a lot better. Oh, as I oh said that, this God. got a lot closer. But it feels like they just don't have the same coordination they had on Battlefield, but no. looks like they're trying to clean up just a little bit. Oh, oh no, no, oh. no, Max, Max! Help him, help him! Max leaving his teammate to fend for himself while two foxes destroy Vincent's uh, percentage. Oh, oh, unfor okay. There's a world. It's not this no, one, No, it's though. not this one. <laughs> We're going to game 1-1. Uh, one, one. Yeah. What do you think the counter pick here? I feel like it's got to be stadium, right? <sighs> Enough space. I would, I would, I would put that in the back pocket for get match point on, or for a set point. Honestly, I just feel like because FD, I feel like, yeah, oh okay. uh, yeah, yeah, because I feel like even if they could win FD, it would still just be a little bit too like chaotic. Cause you don't have platforms to escape to. 
Yeah, but it's so much easier dealing with Peach and Sheik when you're not having to deal with two double-sided blenders. <laughs> oh, he, he waited on that up smash. Yeah, missing the forward tail. Max goes for the nair. Oh, gets the fair right in the middle of the blender, knocking off but still John. Lips. Good stuff from Jonte here. Ah, I did get attacked, I did get attacked. Not a chance. Oh, that was a very scary side B there. Oh, is Max gonna get this edge guard? Yes, he is. Is he gonna recover from it? No, he's not. <laughs> okay. There's a, yeah, okay. Oh, I really thought they was gonna go for the up, up or not up, the up air there. Sylvie. Oh no, the back air on Vince. That's, that was a straight back air and he got killed for it. Oh, the blender. <laughs> the blender taking Sylvie with it. Vince is just friend, foe, it doesn't matter. These bricks don't hit. Oh, rock transformation. This is going to work really great for Max to just be able to camp with the needles. Oh, oh but he gets okay. sniped. Go for the infinite. Go for the Yes, yes. Yeah. Double infinite? Double infinite? No, Max gets in there too quick and gets, gets the reads on those down smashes real nice there. And that's putting them in the lead. I didn't realize it's five to three. three. Yeah. The foxes are just having their stocks evaporated yep. in this game. Oh no, the blender. The blender. Oh, oh the burner. Oh, oh, he's out of it. Okay, he's safe. Oh, where the hell did that come out of? Vince losing his stock to I think it was a stray up smash while the stage was transforming. Okay, they have last stock one situation. Shot. They gotta kill Max here. There we go. It's not gonna oh kill. no! It's not gonna kill. Yeah, that's oh yeah, this is this a poor fox with. <laughs> Chante looking at Bella like, did you really mean to run into that down smash? <laughs> yeah, he's playing key boy right now. He really wants to win this. He's. Oh, oh no! Oh go no! For like, go for like. Okay. There's Last situation. There's, 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 there's a shot. There's a shot of Chante. Oh, almost hitting the back here. Oh. No, no, that's it. All right. Game four, set point. Do you run it back here? Huh? Do you run it back to the stadium here? Mm. That's a that's too big an X factor for me. I would say. I feel like it, yeah, it, yeah, it, it, yeah. She already started crazy with side, side B. Shine, put shining in the wrong oh. direction. Oh, the shine tennis, knocking Sylvie up to 62%. See, they're, get, they're fishing for these up tilts, and it's working out really well for them, where they just get these like small little attack ons, and then hoping for the, oh, it, hoping to get follow into something else. Yep, yep. Unfortunate. Oh, nice shield pressure, oh. but, oh no, Vince is getting knocked up. Whatever pressure that Sylvie had planned is getting thrown away here. Oh, getting that weak bit back here. Yep, all right. Now Vince focuses on this edge guard. No, not a chance. I think, yeah, Sylvie gets edge guarded himself. Yeah. That's unfortunate. Oh, oh nice double down smash. Double blender. The triple. Oh, oh and it's, it's gonna be, nope. Okay. Forward air, there we go. Oh, they went for that. That was a really good idea. Unfortunate, okay. Nice double edge guard from uh, Sylvie right there. Really clean. Good way. Was not able really to save. There. I think. Mellow body blocked yeah. uh, Sylvie's uh, needles. needles on purpose. Yeah. Oh, crazy down there. there. See, th <laughs> gotta go for the up. Yep, great. Yeah, Vince just running away, trying to catch up. Gets the up smash. Fair. Sylvie's going. Oh my crazy. God, Sylvie is going with these kills right now. Oh. Just finishing them off. Oh, missing the back air though. The nair. I think he's got this edge guard. Yep, back air. Oh, went for the up smash there. It would have been great if it hit. Yeah, yeah. Go for another one. They're just throwing haymakers at Fox. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They're really kill. desperate right now. They're they're fighting for their lives. No, nope. is that the edge guard that they need? No, no not quite. Yeah. Down air. Almost hit the almost hit the knee or the, the leg. E, okay, they're bringing it back right now. Four stocks, three. Oh, oh, as you say that. Yeah, the classic sheet killer. 
Sylvie, cool, calculated, precise. Oh, going so. Oh no, it's a lone John against two of the worst legs in the business right now. Down smash, Nair. Oh, missing the fair. Oh, he tries to go for the second one, but it doesn't matter because he's still in an edge guard situation. And yeah, Vincent <laughs> is just holding back right now. And oh. Nair out of shield. That's going to do it. Blue Alliance is your winner. The true doubles extraordinaires, Max and Vince. Yeah, they they. It seemed like they didn't have their footing in the first game, and then once they got past it, they really locked it down. Oh, you're. All right, we're gonna take a quick break. I then we'll be back with. I think top four. Yeah, probably top four. Yeah. I'm Mario. I'm Duo Scythe. Thank you guys.